Hey everyone, it's Sarudu and I scribble and today I will be sharing with you my art supplies because I don't have a lot of time and I haven't been able to put together an art video but I figured I could show you the supplies I use. I will be showing you both the traditional and my digital supplies so uh, stick around for that. Uh, first I'm just going to briefly go over my pencil case again because there are a few things here I find like essential as my art supplies. Uh, one thing Oh, and if you want to see the entire contents of my pencil case, you can go to my What's in My Pencil Case video. Link it here somewhere. But yeah, uh, one of the essentials I feel like I need to share are the Eno Color Leads by Pilot. Uh, these are just really amazing color leads that you stick in your mechanical pencil, and I draw with a mechan mechanical pencil all the time, so it just, it really, it really brightens up my sketchbook. And then I have my liners. I have one Mitsubishi uh, Unipin fine liner in 03 and then I have Faber-Castell's Pit Artist Pen in XS and I also have this one which everyone else has I feel like but it's the Pentel pocket brush pen and this is actually pretty new to my collection I'm still learning how to use it but I'm having a lot of fun with it. So yeah that was the content of that pencil case and then I have these which are my Stabilo uh, 68 pens. I also do have one 88. Uh, the 68s are water-based uh, felt tip pens, basically. And, uh, and then this one is the Fine uh, 04, 0.4 even, 0.88 pen. So yeah, uh, they come in a variety of colors. There's like, they're amazing. There's a lot to choose from, which is why I like them, and for smaller, like for details, they're really, really good. Um, next, I guess I could go for these, which are one of my favorite tools to use, at least when I'm working traditionally. Um, these are the Stettler Carrot Aquarels, which are watercolor pencils. This is a 36 set, and it's old. It's, I think, 10 years old which is why this case looks the way it does. They don't make the cases like this anymore. Um, but yeah, so these are the pens. They come in two layers like this. And I, I, I really love them and they're affordable. Um, I made a color sheet up here just to have an overlook and just there's a lot of colors. It's a great, great, great set. I use it lots. Um, and since we're on watercolors, why not deal with the watercolors. These are all my watercolors. I don't have that many. I have this, which is the Winsor Newton Cotman Pocket Plus, uh, which gives you 12 colors uh, in this little set. And it's amazing because it's like, it's super compact, but you can, you have a lot of palettes in it to mixing areas. You get a small brush, which I haven't used yet. Uh, and then you get 12 colors. Uh, these two were not in the set originally. Uh, it's actually these two that are supposed to be in there. These are bought separately. Uh, so yeah, and then these four down here are uh, Schmincke Academy Aquarels. Uh, these four colors here. That's all my watercolors. <laughs> Sometimes I do use acrylics and when I do it's these. Uh, these are by a local store brand called Panjuro. Um, this one is a uh, silk matte type and this one is a gloss so they have slightly different texture when they're finished. Um, I really like them, they dry, f they dry really fast and uh, they're really mixable between each uh, other. Paints, do I have more? Yes, I have one tiny tube of Winsor Newton Designer Gouache in Sink White. Um, I like to use this to do highlights in uh, on my watercolor paintings. Um, it's also great for doing stars and stuff like that. I really like and it. And then lastly there are these which are the Spectrum Noir blendable dual tip markers. They're alcohol based markers and I got a set of 24. Uh, this set in particular are called The Lights. I'm still a little bit on the fence about them because um, I just recently bought them. They're maybe not even a week old. I like them. I do. But they smell a lot, they they reek, and it bothers me a little, but I do want to use them. So um, we'll see what happens. I got them from Panjuro actually. Um, we don't have that many local, like we don't, locally we don't have many art stores, so uh, a lot of my stuff is from Panjuro. Uh, but yeah, so that was uh, maybe some tools. Uh, I have 
these, which are my brushes. Oh, I have this one too. I can start with this one. This is the Pentel, Pentel. Hmm. This is the Pentel Aquage water brush. This is a compact version and it's the medium, I think. Yeah, the medium. But the thing is, even if it's it's really tiny. I mean, it, it fits in my hand. Of course, I have man hands, but if you you can stick the cork on the end, the cap, and you get a little longer edge there. So I really like that. It really helps. And it's just super handy to bring with you. I mean, it's it's not even, you can see it fits so nicely together with that. So size, it, it's a really good one. Real good travel size. And then I have these regular ones. Uh, these are all like off-brand brushes. Um, no, wait, uh, the blue ones are Panjiro. I've color-coded mine, so the blue ones are the ones I use for acrylics, and the black ones I use for aquarels. Watercolors, sorry. And that's the only difference between them. Then there is this huge one here, which is the only, like, brand uh, brush I have. It's by Daler and & Rowney, and it's a System 3 uh, size 30 round brush. It soaks up water really well, which is why I wanted it so I can uh, wet my paper properly. I do have palettes. Well, a palette. This one along with this case, by the way, this case is actually what you use for... Um, it's intended for pony beads and like uh, small beads like that for storage. And they're amazing for watercolors because you can just like pop one lid open. You don't have to open the entire thing and it's amazing. And I just stuck the watercolor in there with some blue tack. Uh, but yeah, these two are from like a dollar store called the TGR. So just really cheap plastic, <laughs> but it works. Um, besides all that, because those were all my tools, I think. <gasps> no, I forgot about these. These are my um, drawing charcoal by Becker's A. And it's just your absolutely regular, come here, drawing charcoal. There is um, nothing special about them. Uh, and I'm not gonna pull them out anymore because then I'm gonna get charcoal all over everything. But yeah, so that was the last of that. I do have some paper as well, some watercolor paper. There are two types. You can probably not see much of a difference. But uh, this one is my uh, practice paper, I should say. Uh, it's a Canson Montville uh, watercolor paper. It's 200 grams and comes in sheets of 24 by 32 centimeters, so it's a little larger than an A4. Next one is a lot thicker and a lot more textured. You can see that. The other one barely had any texture at all. This is by, and I'm gonna butcher this, but uh, Hannemerle. It's German, as everything else here in the world that's art, it's German. Um, it's the uh, Hannemerle Fine Art Britannia, and it's 300 grams A3. They come in A3 size, and I bought like a stack of 12, I think. And it's the rough texture too, it, like it comes with different textures, but I got the rough one. But it's okay, because if you turn it to the back, it, it's actually pretty smooth on the back. So you like you can you can paint on either side. Not really gonna harp on too much on everything else, but these are the main sketching stuff I use. Um, I have these notebooks by Tilda, distributed by Panjero. Um, they're just uh, yellow paper uh, mini sketchbooks. It's not very high quality. And then I have these, which are um, by Bunger and it's just a uh, drawing paper. These have been around forever. I use them a lot. Uh, it's uh, 135 gram uh, A4 paper. I think that's it for all of my traditional arting tools. If I missed anything or if you're interested in knowing something, just ask in the comments below. I'm going to show you my digital stuff now. Okay, so change of scenery. Uh, real quick, this is my first, my most important digital art tool. It is a Wacom. Wacom? What do you call it? Uh, it's an Intuos 4 uh, medium, I think it's called. For programs, filming my screens like this, this is ridiculous. I have, let's see, yeah. I have Adobe Photoshop, uh, Adobe Photoshop CS4. I don't use it a lot. I mostly use it for printing. And then I also have this, which is Easy Paint Tool Sci, and that is my most favorite program to use. I really like it because it's just your basic painting essentials. Last thing over here are my, my scanner and my printer. Uh, my scanner is an, a Canon Canoscan, uh, Lidee, L-I-D-E, uh, 210. 
And then I have this one, which is super dusty, I just realized. Uh, it's also Canon. It's uh, Canon Pixma, and it's IP7250. But uh, those are all my tools. I will list everything in the description box down below, as well as stuff I might have missed. But thank you so much for watching, and uh, I hope to see you guys soon again. Bye!